hey guys, today I just wanted to tell you um, how I keep everything organized on my Mac. Um, so let's just get started. My doc isn't really particularly interesting. I just keep uh, the applications that I <coughs> go to the most. Like, I gotta have Safari and Firefox, Mail, VMware Fusion, I use that a lot. System preferences, I change a lot of settings pretty much whenever I uh, have to. Uh, VLC and Real Player, <coughs> uh, I use those for pretty much every w video that I watch since they're so compatible. Uh, and then these two, I guess, would be the less used applications like OE Cake, uh, just basic physics application. Well, it's not really basic, it's pretty advanced. Um, it just may look like a regular sandbox application, but you can actually mess with the settings here. Um, change the parameters like gravity, acceleration, fire life. Um, there's a whole load of settings you can change here and to your liking and it's pretty amazing what you can do with this. So that's just Zoe Cake. Um, a transmission that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's the torrent client. Although I just got the uh, uTorrent beta off of the website. Close all applications. I did a little video on that. Uh, I don't really use remote desktop connection um, because the computer I connected to, I don't know why, just doesn't want to get connected no matter what I do. I can't get into it. So I just gave up. So now let's just get into um, what I actually do with the finder. Um, and if you're wondering how I get these icons up here for quick access, um, it's pretty much what I do is you go to um, view and then hit, sh oh, yeah, customize toolbar. Yeah, um, and then what you can do is go to your applications folder, open up a new finder window, go to your applications folder, and then all you do is drag whatever application you want into there. Of course I don't want that application there. Um, <clears throat> and then you can actually edit a lot of stuff here. You can get rid of this is pretty unnecessary I guess. You could, this action button, unless you're a new Mac user, you don't really need that. So you can get rid of that, save some space for putting more applications here. Uh, you can get rid of pretty much everything or just set it back to default. Um, so that's how you get the icons up there for quick access. Um, so now what I wanted to really show you was uh, how to stay a bit organized for your applications. Um, so what I do is whenever I download an application that I plan to keep, uh, like whenever I download an application that I plan to keep, I uh, have a folder where I keep all my disk images, all my DMG files. Um, any other applications I just want to see what it does I'll just leave it in the downloads folder try it out if it's good then I'll keep it in here and this is where I keep like all my disk images so I don't have to like download the application again like uh, some of these big files like VMware fusion that's like 250 megabytes um, so this is just handy to have here Although it does take up quite the bit of space, like this is taking up almost five gigs, but I think it's worth it. Uh, 
you can keep the old versions of the software if you know if the website doesn't host the older versions if that older version did something that you wanted it to do and the newer version doesn't um, so I yeah basically I keep all my applications here uh, uh, DMG converter you know monolingual MPEG stream clip all these applications that are very very handy pacifist pa pathfinder parian real player screen flow oh and I actually uh, torrented the uh, Safari for developer preview and that's what whenever I ever since I got it I have not gone back to Safari 3 it's just so much faster seemingly so much faster and there's no real difference it looks exactly the same although there are um, I guess a few minor differences uh, shout out to Dell 1032 um, so it's it's just really handy I have another folder in here for all my other software that isn't a that isn't in a DMG file it's maybe a dot app or a zip file and then I also have a separate folder for these uh, installers like for instance uh, doc doctor that's how I change the color for the um, my doc here I have Windows Media installed. I don't really use Windows Media Player. Um, Logic Tech Control Center for my wireless mouse. Flip for Mac for playing WMV files online. These are just all installer packages. Hang on, I accidentally launched iTunes here. Um, cool Iris. Um, that's just. I, I don't really know how to describe it because I don't really use it so and I keep all my documents you know I, I keep them all in separate folders school documents um, I did get Spore the uh, game Spore pictures that's just default uh, I actually keep my torrent files in a folder so I can have all my torrents there that's just like Windows applications and stuff um, in case I use boot camp or VMware fusion let's see what else is there and I I keep my movies here like I as you can see I have all these high definition movies here in fact this is what's taking up the bulk of my hard drive space if I do a command I this folder is taking up 74.5 gigabytes pretty much 75 gigabytes of space is being taken up by these high definition movies and I think it's worth it their quality is amazing um, and I never sh did an unboxing video, but I used a WD TV by Western Digital, so I can uh, stream files off of my external hard drive onto my TV using that the, um, on my high def TV, and it looks amazing. And it supports MKV files, and it supports Mac OS Extended, so you can put files over four gigabytes on it without having a Windows because then you'd use NTFS but Mac uh, Macs can't uh, write to NTFS um, so yeah good product WDTV I had a couple of problems with it but an update fixed it uh, music pretty self-explanatory um, don't really know what else to show except I have a ton of applications I'll just go down through the list in case you see any maybe that you would want to 